pushing on is a little bit of a, a wrapping up exercise and a vision of the future of what does what does the future of workplace wellbeing look like and what do organizations need to start doing to get there yeah well I, big question great, I great. yeah no, but, no, but it's a pretty good one right the um we, I mean, I think we probably, you know, it's a great way to pull together some of the things that we talked about. You know, work has always evolved around the risks that it perceives, right? So it's not like, um, you know, we often lose sight of the fact that um, workplaces haven't always been toxic. They're not all terrible places. They're dealing with the risks that they perceive all the time, right? So, so forever you look back and they're dealing with a different set of risks and, and as society and technology and all those sorts of things evolve and the way work evolves, you know, the physical risks of the workplace have largely been replaced with some mental ones now, emotional risks. And, and so we're starting to tackle those. Awareness of that has gone up immensely since 2020. You know, that we were sort of, it felt like we were, you know, there were, um, there were technologies out there doing work in well-being pre-2020, but you didn't hear mu that much about them. And, you know, so that market has, is expanding. We're, we're, we're caring much more about it. We're all much more aware of it. We all saw inside each other's bedrooms during the pandemic. And so we started to take a bit more notice of the things, the individuals and the individual context that people had. So that, that journey is going to show no signs of stopping anytime soon. And things like the Oxford University report yesterday perhaps guide us in a better direction for what we need to do, right? So that's... Um, you know, we're, we're on a, a journey where employee well-being is become, becoming more important. We know, I heard you talk about it, coming to work, changing jobs, staying where I am right now. Well, the, the provision for my well-being, so don't, hurt, don't harm me and then try to fix me with an EAP only to put me back into harm's way. That, that's a cycle that we're going to see um continue and change too right but the so, so that's um that that's the journey 